All right, let's create this really cool, sort of like a paper fold animation that is completely done inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look at how the composition looks. It looks pretty messy, but I'm going to explain how everything works when we create it. So to create these, I'm going to copy this composition and then I'm going to get rid of that there. First, we're going to need a cross dissolve transition. So I'm going to add that there and make sure it's a fusion cross dissolve. But if you add the other one, don't worry, you can always right click on it and then just turn it into a fusion cross dissolve transition. Now for the duration, let's set this duration to one second. In this case, it's at 24 frames per second timeline, so it's going to be 24, well, 23 keyframes. Here, we're going to get rid of this cross dissolve and we're going to connect this with a merge node. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a polygon here, which is what we're going to animate. Now, to animate this effect, it's a lot of manual work. Basically, we're going to draw our first shape, just a random shape like that. And then we can connect these to our media in. In this case, mine shows have been inverted, but this is what it's going to look like by default. So at frame zero, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a keyframe here at frame two. Here, we're also going to create a size keyframe and also bring this down to zero at the zero keyframe. That way it just shows up like that. Then we're going to go two frames forward. And since we already created this animation here, when we make any changes to this shape, that will create the uh, keyframe automatically. Now, to make this work, what you want to do is move every other uh, point, basically, every two frames. So I'm going to go two frames again, and I'm going to move these other points like that. This is just what I found that works great, but feel free to experiment with these, obviously. Then we're going to do that again. And you're basically going to repeat this process until you cover the whole screen. Now I'm going to speed up th through this process. Otherwise, it's going to take way too long. And I don't want my camera to overheat again and make me lose all the footage. Like in the previous recording session. Now, one thing you have to make sure to not do is to add extra points. Because if you do that, sometimes it can freak out, but it seems that this has been fixed. So you can add more points if you want. So ignore what I just said. Okay, now if we press play, we can see how what that shape already looks. And it sort of looks like those paper animations. Although it's not perfect, but it works for now. Now, the next thing that I want to add is a paper edge effect. But for some reason, when I search for it here on the tools bar, it doesn't show up. So what we have to do is go to the effects section, then here, find it under templates, edit. And then here in effects. And then we're going to write paper. And now we have the paper edge effect. We're going to connect our polygon to these. And then connect these to our merge node. Now, if we take a look, it looks just like a normal paper, but we don't want that. We actually want to press Ctrl T on this merge node. That way, our paper edge is actually the one in the background. And here we can modify these by making the border bigger, increasing the contrast edge or the sharpness and roundness and all the different values that we have here. But if we already leave it like that, it works fine. You just have to take into account that as when you go further, you might have to adjust things a bit more because the details get lost sometimes for some reason. So we have that there. I'm going to add a drop shadow on this one and then decrease the distance so that it looks a little bit better again. Another thing that I did for these was I wanted to add sort of like a little bit of a texture overlay on these. So for that, what I did was I added another paper effect, which is called a paper effect. So he, it doesn't show up in the bar when we press it, control space bar. So we're going to just find it here in the edit section. I'm going to add this here. Press 2 so we can see this on screen. And here you can adjust this so that it has a little bit more texture, right? Adjust the lift, gamma, contrast, brightness, everything that you want until you get to a point that you like. I think that looks pretty fine. Now we're going to connect these to our media in. And I'm going to go to the merge node here. 
And here in the apply mode, I'm going to select screen. And if we press two, actually, instead of screen, I think I'm going to choose overlay. I think that looks fine. Let's see. Yeah, that adds a little bit of a texture on it, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this same polygon to our merge node. That way, the merge node, the effect is only going to show up inside our next image or the next clip. And I'm going to press Ctrl C and copy these. And then I'm going to go to the spline tool. I always have these open by default. And then I'm going to hold shift and move these a little bit. That way, the actual effect also disappears from the main clip, right? Otherwise, it's just going to show up like that and randomly just cut off the effect. And it's not going to look that great. And what we can do on this one, too, is increase the softness a little bit so that the effect disappears faster or like it's a little bit smoother, right? The transition from this effect to the other one. So I think that's pretty much for the effect. What we can do now is press play. And we have that cool sort of like a paper full effect that's created all within DaVinci Resolve. So if you want to download these as a preset, I'm going to put these on the Swabi website. I think, I think it's going to be a freebie and it's not going to be part of the Swabi club. I'm going to create a few extra ones and just make those available for the members only. And then maybe I'll actually create a cool pack of these style of animations. I have a better one that's a little bit different but I haven't figured out completely yet. So I'm going to have to keep working on that one a little bit more before I show you how that one works. So yeah, that is today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.